Now we don't want to bypass Christmas altogether just yet, but our two guests now are here to talk about something that's happening in January specifically. We've got Ruth and Kelly from Shropshire Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Are you ready for Christmas? That's the first question. Yep, yeah, all good to go. I just need a shirt like yours. This is tailor-made, you know, it. imported from Thailand. This is the best, <laughs> the best silk. You can't just got all of these off the shelves. What about you, Ruth? What's Christmas mean for you? Do you have, do you have a busy household? A uh, very busy household, yes. It will be non-stop, I think, and very loud. Yep. So we're looking forward to going back to back work. Back to work. <laughs> There's quite a few people that think that, isn't there, I guess? <laughs> so we're, we're, we're coming up. How close are we to your first anniversary as Chief Executive of the Chamber? It'll then, be uh, 1st of April next year, so has nine it, months. How's it been so far? It's been interesting. Yeah, I think it's um, anything, isn't it? You... you would like a new job yeah. but when you get there it's a bit ooh. have you found a few more challenges then that you thought maybe or, yeah. or have you embrace those challenges i, I embrace it? challenge yeah. yes i think it um it, it keeps things a bit more alive and stuff but i think it's other people are struggling and chamber is all about helping mm. and supporting people so i think you know sometimes you do feel quite responsible for yeah, trying absolutely. to help and find those solutions as well so well, it's an interesting journey the results of the chamber's quarterly survey have been in the headlines haven't they this week and that talks doesn't it about how you know some companies are finding things quite tough at the moment yeah i think when when you speak to quite a few different people there are people being laid off i mm. think when you take into consideration the um minimum wage increase that's hitting people mm. you know and there are redundancies going on even just before Christmas and sort of some planned after Christmas as well because people just can't afford all of the utility bills and all of the costs and everything you know something has to give so it's kind of coming at us from all angles at the yeah. moment isn't it that's the problem mm. I, I guess there's it, there's lot been lots of stuff brewing in the background hasn't there since Covid people maybe using up their cash reserves mm. and things like that and now suddenly they've yeah, got wage you had inflation the back loans and mm. things and you know people have been paying that back mm. and yeah, when you're paying back something but you've still got increasing costs this side as well it just it's hard Good. to balance well, isn't it, it so. is, yeah. but that doesn't mean we haven't got things to celebrate here no. in Shropshire which is one of the reasons for putting the Shropshire Chamber Business Awards together again for the 24th year it is your yeah, 24th year now I remember talking to you after the awards in June and I said so how long does it take before you start prepping for next year and you said Next week. Yep. So, so where, where are we at? Bring us up to date. <laughs> okay, so we are looking forward to our launch, which takes place on the 25th of January. So we've got some new changes. So we've got a new venue, which is the McCure or Brighton Hall Hotel. Um, and during the evening, we'll be launching our new look website, which will be um, in detail showing you the processes for applying for an award, the judging process, how to book your seats and your tables. And we've also got some new categories to look out for as well, because we just want to involve as many disruptive businesses that we can. Because that's one of the things, isn't it? for people that have maybe never been to the awards or never entered, yeah. it's important to get across, isn't it? This is not just for chamber members, is it? It's no, absolutely. Time. It's for members, non-members, all businesses of all sizes. And we really want to get out there this year or next year and just let everybody know you can all enter. You've all got the same chance as each other. And we really want to raise people's profile and just shout about the great work that Shropshire businesses do. It is a celebration, is it, of the it Shropshire is. business community. And that's what I love about it, to be yeah. honest. So what's, what's the main objective then for the launch night on the 25th of January? What actually happens there in the night? We want to get across to businesses exactly what's involved within the Business Awards. So you will have the opportunity to hear from past winners, judges, sponsors, just to see how their involvement has affected their business, how it's raised their profile, their journey. Um, you can come along and speak to the team. As I said earlier, we'll be launching our website. So from that date, you can actually then apply for you an award or book your seats and book your tickets. It's all about just letting everybody know everything. There is so much to know about the awards, but everything that will be going on. Do you look for sponsors as well then for the awards this year? We are. We do have some sponsorships that we have filled already because mm -hmm. people just know how it's just a great opportunity to raise your business profile. But we do have further opportunities available. Again, come along and we can, you can come and chat to the team and we can just see what would be suitable for you, you and your business. I, I guess, Ruth, one of the most important parts about an awards event like this is transparency because it prides itself on being independently yeah. run although the chamber runs it it's th very much the process is done by independent judges and it's explaining to people just you know that this is just fellow businesses judging each other isn't it isn't it yeah there, there's a criteria that is followed which we're going to try to make a little bit easier to make sure that when people are applying that it's an easier process for them to make sure that they capture all of the the criteria and then the judges go round 
and um, they are independent judges um, running their own businesses or employed by a, another Shropshire business. Um, not necessarily members either. We have non-members actually doing the judging as well. Um, we have no partake in it at all. All we get is the, the result, which has got all the scores through and stuff. So, you know, we can give feedback if um, needed, but it is all independent. So it, it, it's a big job. You're, you're just Kelly. the queen of the spreadsheet. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, the spreadsheet's on the go already. Do, isn't it? So, <laughs> what, I mean, what do companies tell you that they get out of winning the Shropshire Chamber Business Award? What does it mean? It's, it's fantastic. The, the buzz in the room when they've won and when they speak to you after months after, um, the whole evening and just that they can bring their team along to celebrate, the profile raising they get with it, the speaking to other businesses and just everything as a whole, they're just it's amazing and it's just great to see from the other side. I know when we won our award, didn't we? And, and that was, for me, to go on stage and receive that award, it just honestly, it was brilliant, such a highlight, mm. fantastic. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm in a very fortunate position, being compare standing yeah. on stage, I see the scale of the hall, you look out there and you think to yourself, you know, this is Shropshire here, you, you know, mm, we've had yeah. up to, what, eight, nine hundred people some years, you know, it's always six, seven hundred. It's a massive event, isn't it? Mm. I mean, you you know, you know, addressed the awards for the first time this year, didn't you? So, did yeah. you see it from a different perspective? <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does look a bit different when you're actually at the, the front. Yeah. I mean, you know, you do get that panic of, am I going to trip up when I go <laughs> up? And, you're long you know, yeah. going up those steps, yeah. But it's, I think, it, yeah, it's special, because yeah. I think, you know, I've seen it from the other angle when um, I, I and not entered the award, but I did go to the business awards as a just a passerby type thing yeah. and stuff. And it's a, it is a wow factor. But to think that that's actually Shropshire businesses yeah. celebrating what they've managed to achieve. I mean, we have some people go that are just literally taking their team out to celebrate. They haven't applied for the award, an award. They haven't actually sponsored it, but they're taking the team out to to help inspire others and their team to show what Shropshire really is all about. It's a great night out though, isn't yeah. it? From the moment oh, yeah. you walk in, yeah. you know, to when the evening winds mm. up, after you've done a bit of dancing afterwards, mm. Carl's on the dance you floor. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a brilliant evening. Yeah. It is great when everybody enters the room and you just hear their comments and that it's just a big mm. wow and the, it wasn't expected and it, it's fantastic to hear that when you've put in so many months of work, it's fa it's fab. So actually, mm. you know, just to be shortlisted for an award, means that you're actually having your company profiled in front of hundreds yeah. of key Shropshire yeah. business people, isn't it? You've, yeah. I'm not saying you've won, then, you know, you know what I mean? You know, you are a winner mm. immediately, aren't you, if you're yeah. uh, yes, being absolutely. profiled like that? Yeah. So, uh, so now, the launch event, mm -hmm. it's free to attend, isn't it? It is. Do, do people have to register in advance? What time does it yeah. start? Tell us all the mechanics about it. You can book on the Chamber website to book for the evening or drop me an email and I can book it on your behalf. You, if you wanted just to turn up on the night, you're more than welcome to. Um, but you'd love to know how many people. Yes, I would. I would. But I, I would <laughs> never turn. I would never turn anybody <laughs> away. But yeah, it's a free event, and as I say, you hear all the information about the awards, and also we will be offering an early, early bird offer. So if you do come to the get my words at the awards launch, you'll find out all of the information, and you can take advantage of that offer as well. And entries will open on the day of the yeah. of the launch. We'll launch the website during the launch evening. How long do they are they open for then? They're open until the 12th of April to get your award entries in and then you can book your tables up until one week before. And one more date for the calendar then. When is the awards night? The 21st of June at the Telford International Centre. I knew you'd know that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a spreadsheet, Carl. Absolutely. <laughs> it's it all is. in the spreadsheet. It's I believe it's on you. Countdown. <laughs> I believe what he said. Thank you. Thank you for coming in to see us. Have a great Christmas. Thank you. And thank uh, you. look forward to seeing you in January. I'll dress a bit quieter <laughs> for the awards launch, I think. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Well, folks, that's just about it for our Christmas special, Shropshire Business Live TV. Thank you for joining us today. And indeed, thanks for joining yeah. us throughout the whole series. It's our fourth Christmas special, series number four. I'm not quite sure where the time's going. It's Christmas whizzing by. It's whizzing by. So, yeah, from both of us, have a good Christmas. We do like to play out with a bit of music okay. on these shows, if you've seen it before. Now, last year, we had Adrian Hill from Morris Lubricants giving us his latest instalment of Eric the Turkey. Mm.
This year we are going to All Brighton for a group of locals who call themselves Pop Next Door for Christmas. And this is uh, not just a Christmas song, but it's got a really important message, which sort of tallies in with something Marcus was talking about a little bit earlier. But most importantly of all, it's raising cash for charity. If you go onto the Just Giving page, you can see how they're trying to um, support the All Brighton Trust Moat and Gardens, which supports people with learning difficulties. So uh, we will leave you with the group from All Brighton, Pop Next Door for Christmas. Have a great one. We'll see you in the new year.